Hey guys, my name is Victoria Munoz, and Ministra. here we have Ministra. Question is, what's something? Uh, what is a perspective that you think it might change uh, the way people move among life? Well, many people they uh, they don't know what they have until they lose it. So they don't take advantage of the opportunity that they have because they don't know what they really have. Mm -hmm. So, for example, there's people that live with their parents and they take it for granted. I mean, yeah, your parents might tell you, hey, you know, do your chores. Mm -hmm. But that's, you know, small compared to when you move out and you have to go ahead and do your chores on yourself. You know, mm -hmm. wash your own clothes, mm -hmm. sweep, clean, cook. And you don't know and you don't understand that until you have to face that yourself. Mm -hmm. You know? And little that you know is that you should take advantage of that help that you're getting from your parents. Not look at it, oh, they want to control my life. Mm -hmm. But look at it as it's a great help. Yeah. Versus, it's an opportunity as well. As, it's a great something. opportunity, mm -hmm. you know, to do something for yourself. Mm -hmm. Instead of just thinking that they're just forcing you to do things that you don't want. Your parents always want the best thing for you. But you don't see it that way. So we take it for granted and we want to do whatever is best for us. But let's look at the financials. When you're living with your parents, you mm -hmm. don't have to worry about paying light bills, paying gas bill, paying rent. insurance rent, mm -hmm. which is big. And food. And food and all of that, you know. And if you're moving out your house without, you know, finishing college or having a steady income, most likely you're setting yourself up for failure or setting yourself up to succeed real slowly. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong, there's people that do it, but most don't succeed because you're focused more on being an adult versus while you're in your house, you could focus on your goals, you know, saving money to buy your own house. Why would you go and rent an apartment instead of, you know, saving money up to buy an apartment. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, you're really setting yourself up for failure because instead of you spending that money on rent, you could be investing, investing it. it. Mm -hmm. And if you start at the young age, you know, you'll set a, aside a future for yourself that... Yeah, you kind of speed up the process. That you're that speeding way. up the future for, for, you know, and you're making life easier on you. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, some people are afraid of buying property but you could always sell the property. You could always rent the property. You could always Airbnb the property. And that's an income that you don't have to worry about. Or oh, hell, if you have a big enough apartment, and let's say the apartment mortgage and everything costs 1500 you get yourself two roommates with three bedrooms, and you practically living for free because if you charge them, you know, mm -hmm. 400 bucks a month, that's, you know, mm -hmm. that's money that you have to pay for whatever it is. Yeah, and at the end of the day, it's going to be yours. It's going to be yours. So you're practically paying yourself to live for free. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand. I mean, I, I, that's just something that I think you have tried to always make me, you know, same. But I, I before I was in, because um, at the same time, it's like, yeah, like I was in a sense uh, too afraid that my freedom was like, being taken away. But in a way, the reason why they were being so strict, you know, is so I could, you know, focus and, and take this time to actually, you know, take advantage of it. Because this time is the one that, you know, you're not going to take, you're never going to have this time back. This is a time where you can make mistakes. You can, you know, um, you can uh, frisk it all basically because it's like you don't have much to lose yet. But it's like when there is like, you know, a home involved, involve, a job, it's like it's, it's harder for you to even uh, take, you know, take decisions, make decisions like that because it's like there's more in the stake. Basically. The funny thing is that people, when they're living in their parents' house, they feel like they have no freedom. Mm -hmm. but, reality, they but in reality, when you move out of your house, you're really setting yourself up with no freedom because you're going to have to be working. Everything is going to go back to like, I need to work because, because I, need I need to, to pay maintain. the bills, yeah, so. you know? So many people don't take advantage of the fact that, you know, you're at home with your parents and you don't go to school, mm -hmm. you don't start a business or, you know, or, you, or you're not realistic with things. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And I don't know, honestly, that's also the big, biggest thing about it. It's being realistic. I think we all are in this mindset of like, 
you know and it i mean i believe everything is possible but but you always have to see like the pros and cons because i think we get too excited i personally get too excited about um you know new things and i'm you know i'm always trying new things and in a way i i fail to complete them or i used to do that um because i I mean it gets hard it gets hard but in it you on the other thing you have to be very consistent with it and determine you know that you're gonna finish this and because it's like you know the reward it might not come it's not gonna come instantly but if it you know with time you're gonna see the results and every eventually it will make sense and that's where like you know like when that doesn't fail then i'm like okay you know life it's you know yolo like life is like um i can do anything else you know so it's like you live it halfway in that's where we fail as well because it's like that time you also that you wasted it not wasted it fully because it's like you learned something but it's like that lesson might come in, in later in life and then it's gonna take you more time to like really understand it so it's like you you kind of basically um you know yeah you kind of like uh lost a, a, a good amount of that time even though you well, you the know. only way I see that you lose a lot of your time is if you don't learn from your mistakes. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I mean, so, but that's, that's the only that's much mm-hmm. my perspective. Yeah. So you could go ahead and try many things, mm-hmm. but if you don't learn from your mistakes, that's when you lose. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're all humans. We all make mistakes. We're we're not perfect. But what I think is that you should give yourself self time limits. Mm-hmm. So if you set if you want to try something out, that's fine. Yeah. Give but make time. sure that you give yourself a time limit where to stop if you don't see it going anywhere. Mm-hmm. I mean, you could try making printing shirts, Mm -hmm. but if you don't see that it's not working after a certain amount of time, quit. Yeah. Go move on, learn from it, Mm -hmm. and start something new. You keep trying things until, you know, something works. But never stick on something. Always trying to make it. I mean, I know people that are, you know, trying to make it in the music industry. Mm -hmm. They've been trying to make it in the music industry for the past 20 years. Mm -hmm. They haven't made it. I mean, I understand you're trying to be an artist, but... It's time to move on. Yeah. Because if not, you're you're you know you're not learning from your mistakes. You're not you know you're missing on other opportunities mm-hmm. because you're not seeing, you're not being realistic on what's really going on. Yeah. And I think also like in that sense, like I know that people stay very very because for like a like you know many years, and it's like it, sometimes it's okay if you're passionate about it because in a way. You know, you're enjoying the journey more than, you know, what you're going to, what you know that you're kind of respecting. Um, But it's like, again, like how you said, like if you're in the music industry for 20 years and you haven't seen anything, you know, um, come out of it, then it's like it's time to move on or, you know, anything else. That could, I mean, that really goes for for any career as well. Like if you also, if you're unhappy and then you kind of like always questioning uh, like what you're doing then it's like that's where you have to like take that question in consideration and say okay where like what can be changed you know try to improve it i mean i'm gonna tell you the truth and Mm -hmm. because i've been i'm gonna tell you my perspective Mm -hmm. being unhappy is when you're not getting paid enough Mm -hmm. i'm I'm just being real with you yeah um whoever tells me that they like working can i curse on this (laughs) yeah it's full of shit (laughs) because you know nobody really wants to work Mm -hmm. i hate my job but I get paid good money to do what I do. Mm-hmm. So at the end of the day, I'm going to keep doing it. Mm-hmm. Now, if I wasn't getting paid to live the lifestyle that I'm living, you know, I'm, I'm going to reconsider it. Yeah. And, you know, I'm not going to like it. I'm going to think about it twice. But since I get paid good money doing what I do, I just do what I do. Yeah. With no questions, you know? Yeah. Now, the day that I see another opportunity that I'm going to make more money, mm-hmm. I'm going to leave where I'm at. Yeah. Because basically, I mean, people, people, many people say, oh, I, I do things because I have a passion for it. Mm-hmm. I think that's just bullshit. Mm-hmm. Because passion is not going to pay your rent. Mm-hmm. Passion is not going to buy you food. Yeah. And if you have passion for high quality things, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Prada, Fendi, Louis, yeah. anything else, Supreme, Nikes, Jordans, passion is not going to buy you that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, Money yeah. is. So... Again, you got to be realistic with things. Mm -hmm. And you have to do your research on whatever it is that you're doing. Many people think, oh, I have a nice design on a t-shirt. I have a nice clothing line and I'm going to make it. Maybe. Somebody else have that thing, so now you can't even do it. No, not only that. You have to do your research because, again, most of these name brands, most of these things, you need to invest. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you can have a nice shirt, but you need to spend that money on promoting. Yeah. 
you know, you got to pay. You do it right, too, because it's like you have to register the name and, you know, the copyright and all that That's stuff. That's basics. I'm talking about once you have all of your stuff ready. Mm, gotcha, gotcha. You know, nobody's going to wear your shirt unless little baby has it on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get little mean. baby's not going to wear it for free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because exactly. he likes it. Yeah. You know, many people don't understand that. Mm. People think, oh, you know, Cardi B wears uh, Louis Vuitton because she likes it. Uh, Maybe. <laughs> But she's not going to wear that because she's wearing Fashion Nova. Mm-hmm. Why she wears Fashion Nova? Because she's getting paid to wear mm-hmm. Fashion Nova. It's not because she doesn't like it. Mm-hmm. It's not because she likes it. It's because she likes getting paid to <laughs> wear whatever it is. Yeah. I mean, Fashion Nova is made in China. Mm-hmm. But people buy it because Cardi B's wearing it. And Fashion Nova is one of the biggest online retailers of clothing f- for women mm-hmm. because they spend the money on promotions Mm -hmm. it wasn't luck it's not because people like it's because they put it so much in your face Mm -hmm. that you know you you end up buying whatever it is yeah i don't know if you noticed but there's some songs that are whack in the beginning the first time that you hear it right Uh so the first time that you hear the song um you're like man that song is whack (laughs) but you turn on the radio. And you see it over and over You hear it over and over and over I can see why they might hop it up. Over and over again, over and over, mm-hmm. and so many times, repetitive. Man, by the time you're showering in, in, a, in a week or so, you're singing the song and you don't even notice. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's not because the song is good. It's because they programmed that in your head. Mm-hmm. And how did they program that in your head? Because they did the research and they noticed that if you repeat something so much, you just start liking it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You might never try mushrooms, but... If you try mushroom once, you may not like it. You try it again, you may not like it. If there's nothing else to eat, you're not going to, you know, you eat mushrooms. You keep eating mushrooms until, you know, you're like, fuck it. Right. Mushroom it is. <laughs> yeah. And you start trying different shit. Mushroom with fucking curry sauce, mushroom with teriyaki <laughs> sauce, and, and mushrooms is good. Man, mushrooms are you know? good. <laughs> I fucking love mushrooms. They're so fucking good. You make anything good. Like. You know, and there's some people that, you know, they're like, fuck it, let me get high with mushrooms. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, let's go to the other side. I fucking love them that much. Exactly. So at the end of the day, you just got to do your research on things and be realistic. Mm-hmm. And put a time frame on it. You know, if you see it doesn't work, just move on. Learn from your mistakes and move on. You know, don't bash yourself. As long as you learn from whatever you did wrong, that's 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 all it is. It's the same thing with everything. You know, many people get in relationships with somebody and they're with that person for through two, three years mm-hmm. and they feel like they wasted their time. The only reason you should say they wasted your time is if you didn't learn anything. Mm-hmm. But you must have learned something from that yeah. relationship. Because you're supposed to grow with them. Like, you like, you yeah. grow, but you you grow, yeah, and and you Personally, learn from it. Yeah, yeah, because like, it's, it's it's not just like grow as like to get as a couple, but grow also as a person. As a person, you know, you, you learn, learn, you know, mm-hmm. listen, if I, and you gotta understand and accept things. Yeah. You know, and everything you you need to do your research, understand and accept whatever is 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 happening and whatever happened, then just learn from it, from every situation. So it goes from you living in your parents' house. You're thinking that they're bossing you around and they're, you know, you don't have no freedom. Mm -hmm. Then when you go and live on your own and you see yourself, you know, working three jobs trying to pay that rent, you're going to appreciate that because you learned that, man, when I was at home, I didn't have to, I didn't have this worry, Mm -hmm. you know? So you learn from that lesson. But now when you're working on your own, you're learning your own lesson Mm -hmm. that, and it hurts more. <laughs> yeah, it hurts because it's real. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But you know, you gotta accept the reality. Yeah. If you don't accept reality, you, That's you, awesome. you're gonna you're gonna be depressed. I, I look at reality as you're not accepting the truth. When you don't accept the truth, you're gonna be depressed. You're gonna start thinking, and you're never gonna move forward mm-hmm. until you accept the truth. Okay. The same thing when somebody dying. You're gonna be depressed. You're gonna have anxiety. You're gonna have you know. Mm-hmm. But until you accept that that person is dead, you're never going to move forward. Yeah. So, it's, uh, you know, it's accepting and learning and appreciating. And that's that's my perspective on yeah. some of those things. Well, thank you for sharing. That's something that I feel like a lot of us take, you know, it, it takes a lot of time to, f- like, find fully understand it because i i personally you know you've been telling me this for many years and i'm like ah you know eh, here and then but it's like now that i'm older and like you know it's kind of seen a little bit both were i'm like okay like i i gotta stop playing around and really take it you know take the time to see what's you know 
like take advantage of it you know take take make the decision according to that you know being realistic uh taking a time having a time frame and just deciding that whatever happens you know um it's gonna happen but it's, as long as you take something out of it that's the only thing that matters so I'm really grateful for you sharing this also on the podcast so other people can listen to it and take, you know, something out of it that they can later on reflect and eventually uh, take it into, you know, apply to their life.